poetry style. <laughs> Alright, you heard what he said about you. Do you think he deserves a uh, freshman? No. Okay. I don't. I don't think I deserved it. Really? I definitely deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I worked, I worked my ass off um, preparing um, before, before the season, um, preseason. I um, worked hard in practice. Um, I came out, helped my guys win games. Um, I, did, I did my best, I think. I tried to do my best at all times, and they gave it to me. I appreciate it. Your story's been well told about not playing organized basketball for that long and being a great student of the game. Where are you going from here? Still being a student, I mean, you have a lot to learn, and there's always more to learn. No matter how how high you get, how big you get, I mean, it's just about just listening. Um, I like I like to listen a lot because my brother always told me, uh, anybody anybody that says something to you, obviously you have your, your best interest at best interest at heart. And I'm just like, all right, yeah. If you have knowledge for me, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna try and do my best to change and get better at all times. How is your love for the game developed now? I mean, yeah, it's grown tremendously. I'm um, just coming in here and competing at a high level with my guys. Um, I'm creating and sharing bonds with these guys, with my coaches. Um, it's it's grown a lot. Kofi, how how much have you grown this season and, and learned at Illinois since you've gotten here? Yeah, I've grown I've, I've grown so much. Um, it's unbelievable. And it's just it's like I said before, it's just about listening to guys I trust, like Coach Underwood, Coach Antigua, even dudes like Io, um, veterans on the team. That uh, as soon as I came in, he took me under his wing and tried to show me the ropes. So. Just about listening and just believing in the growth. Kobe, have you noticed a different attitude or vibe now that it's tournament time compared to regular season? Yeah, definitely. Um, we always been a confident team, but I could just feel the energy with these guys in practice and like even the push in the last couple games. I um, mean, just like we're so confident now, knowing that we're one of the best teams out there defensively, best one of the best teams offensively too, and just one of the best teams going out there attacking um, on the road. As you've seen, like we're really good on the road, and like it's just that mental that, that mental instinct where we know that yo, know, we could be any team in the country. Okay, you've gone through 20 games in the Big Ten. What, what do you make of the big men in this league? I mean, it seems like a different, you know, different ones really good every night. They each do something a little different. What, what were your impressions of the big guys? Yeah, it's extraordinary. Um, they definitely have a lot um, to do with me and my growth. Um, I feel like every, every big man, every team in the Big Ten has a really good big man, and every night's a different challenge. So it's just about, it's, just, it's not even about physical growth, it's about mental growth too, because you can go from some guard to somebody that pops, to somebody that has really good low post moves, so it's like it's, it's mental growth as much as it's physical growth. So they're they're really good. When you decided to come here, what did you see that made you think we can win at Iowa? What was what were the keys to you deciding this is the place for me? Yeah, I saw I saw really good guards that had an instant to win. Um, the game that I came, I saw Iowa make really tough shots, and I knew him from high school. You know, I knew him from high school, so I knew what kind of play, players they were. I mean, just about coming in and just seeing these guys work hard, knowing that. You know, they need a big man in the post, and if that's the only thing that they need, I could be, I could fill that gap for them. I'm um, Coach Underwood. He's, he's a really good coach, from what I know, my knowledge. Everybody told me good things about him, about how he pushes his players, and that's one of the most, that's one of the things I look forward to in coming here. Just having somebody that pushes me every every time. Coach Antigua, he's a really good assistant coach for him. Just about coming in here and trying to make the team better. How much would you like one more? One more go around with Luca Garza until Iowa can advance. Yeah, I would love that. Um, Luca Garza, he's, he's, you might not see it yet, but he has helped me in so many ways. Like he's developed my game in so many ways, defensively and offensively. And to meet him again, it, it will be extraordinary. He's, he's a really good player. On a neutral court, he each won a home game. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Like, it will definitely test me. This is new water for everybody on the team. Nobody's been in, uh, well, not Big Ten tournament, but just this kind of postseason trajectory. Whose voices are is important here? Are you all kind of locked in on Coach Underwood, uh, or the seniors, or what? I mean, it's it's, it's, uh, it's everybody. It's, it's everybody got to put their best effort. Um, coach Underwood is going to do what he does. Um, he's a really good coach, and he knows the game a lot. Coach's entry, all assistant coaches. It's just it's just about giving your voice whenever you see something. Even Io, even as, as small as Benjamin that doesn't play. Um, everybody's voices should be heard, and we should just listen and try our best to be learners of the game and and go forth to win. Kofi Coach talked about, you know, tomorrow give everything you can and then the next night turn around and do it again. What, so this is your first go around with this. What, what was that experience like for you and how do you guys do that? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's not a smart time. You never know when season could end. You could play as much as six games or eight games. You could play as much as two games. So you never know what can happen. So it's just about going out there, giving your best, knowing that you only have this much games left and what you could accomplish at the end. Um, I mean, a national championship is big time, man. Why wouldn't you give your all?
You saw how physical that game was between you and Luca. <laughs> Knowing that could be every night in the Big Ten tournament, how do you go about recovery and preparation? Does that change for you? Yeah, that's really key. I mean, it changes. You know, you have to put, give, give a little bit extra each time, each day because it gets deeper and deeper into like the season, and your body gets worn out. So, just about coming in here, um, Fletcher does a really good job of getting me in and getting me massages, um, getting me in the ice tub. So it's just about taking care of your body, eating the right stuff, and making sure that you're ready to go. Kofi, what did maybe your family members say when you know you told them about being freshman of the year? They were really happy. Um, obviously my brother, he's really hard, so he. He kind of told me, he was like, yeah, he expected it, but I should have done way more. So, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's just tough on me, so I mean, just got to handle it. What's it like sharing, you know, that you did something that, that recognized with them? Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's really meaningful to me. Um, it means a lot to just come in here, you know. Um, that was one of my goals coming in, um, to do my best and try to be the best freshman in the, in the, in the Big Ten. My goal was to be the best big man, but obviously you have so many big men that's really good. I mean... It's just about coming in here, man, you know, doing doing your best. And it's always good to have accomplishments, you know, that, that you can look and say, oh, yeah, this is what I did throughout my time here, and I could do better. Did the coaches make a mistake not putting Iowa on the first team? Yeah, definitely. Iowa was I, – I, I mean, what, I mean, Iowa was in the first team, wasn't he? For the media. media. For the media, for the coaches. Um, I mean, this is their decision to make. Um, they decided that um, – to me, Iowa is the MVP of the league. I mean, he's a really good player, and he's just – does a lot for us. He does everything for us. He creates. He, he got that dog mentality where he you get down in the, in the dirt for us. He dives on loose balls. He's like a really good leader for us. So I believe 100% in him. He hits big time shots. So he's my MVP for the league. You mentioned the other bigs mentally helping you along. Obviously from you know an X's and O's standpoint, but is there a sense of you know if they get you one possession, you gotta pick yourself up and get it back? On you know in terms of just rebounding possession to possession, has yeah. that grown because of them? Yeah, definitely. I mean. You have big three. Um, you can't never come out and say, "Okay, I'm gonna hold this guy to zero points. I'm always got to this amount of points because they're really good and they're gonna get their buckets off." So it's just about knowing that, oh yeah, he scored. Don't get, put your head down, making sure that you come down and you correct that mistake. And like, if you send a baseline before, you know, like, okay, you gotta take the baseline off now. This is about adjusting and making sure that you don't make the same mistakes over and over again and get back on offense and try to do what, do what you can to help your team. Kofi, what's your relationship like with Clay Jones? And how's he getting ready for the games? Yeah, Clay Jones is everybody's best man. Um, he's a hype man. He gets us, re- he gets us really pumped for the games, and he gets us ready, even in practices. Um, he makes sure we're here, makes sure everybody's up and ready. I um, he's just a really good person for us. Um, he helps us a lot. Thanks, Kofi.